Hello my precious cinnamon rolls, my name is Fofo and I'm here playing Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. And we just escaped from the nasty Innsmouth people into the sewers, which was probably a terribly bad decision. Also seem to be bleeding still. And yes, I heard a giggle. I heard a giggle. Ramona? No, wait! That was Ramona, who we saw die a couple of episodes ago. And uh, we're having a, a minor major freak out about it, which, you know, is perfectly understandable. What the hell? Ah, shit! It's Whoa, that made me jump! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen, it still made me jump. So, so yeah, this stuff burns, um, we can't go down there. Something down here! Jesus. His skin's been corroded from his body. He must have died in agony. Didn't take any uh, damage from the burninating seaweed stuff. Uh, he's freaking out, it's alright. He must have dragged himself up the stairs. I wonder what he was escaping from. <laughs> Sweet how Jack can whisper to himself, oh god, this puzzle. Uh, He's calling to me. God. I remember this. Calling to me. Shut up, you're going to be fine. Tell me. She's following me. I can feel her. Right, so we have this tank. She's here. It won't budge. We have a tank here, if I can freaking get on a ladder. Full of yuck, and we have to drain it. I don't know if this implies there's a shoggoth in there or something, but oh, I cannot get up this ladder <laughs> for some reason. So we have to do some turny thing things, the levers, and drain it. There we go. See, full of yuck. The tank's full of slimy water. There's no way I'm getting in. Not open the sluice. Right, that doesn't do me any good. Uh, I've got to turn the other lever. Basically, we need to drain the yuck and then drain the water. The it takes me a while to figure out how to do it. And I kind of seem to get up that ladder, so... Yeah, it's full of water. Now we've got rid of the yuck. The water looks reasonably clean. We just need to drain it away. Oh, well, I think we pulled the other lever. Did that do it? <laughs> Oh, did that release more sludge? No, it's clean water. I think that did it. Hey, there we go. Oh! <laughs> uh, I need to do that faster. <laughs> oh. God, I wish I had a light sauce. So I wish the ladder wasn't buggy. Crouch. There we go. Well, presumably all that yuck we just drained out went in down here, into the sewer, and... Oh my god! <laughs> Dead people everywhere! Oh god, it's the old fisherman. Say it's 
Zadok and he's dead. Oh, now we're back in the asylum. Um, <laughs> this is, a, is this a flashback or flash forward? Bugs! Bugs everywhere! Uh. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> I forgot just how in your face this game can be. This must be the order's punishment for him talking to me. Poor old drunkard. Shit. I wonder how many others of it looks like the main sewer pipe. The grating has been heavily damaged. This letter. I can't so, make out anything in that blackness. So, so you not just got eaten by something horrible. That's the way we came in, so we want to go up this ladder. Do it here. <laughs> You're just talking to yourself, it's okay. Straight. Technically, what I'm doing What the hell it. is this place? Mm -hmm. It's like some sort of mass grave. Calling to me. I mean, technically, I'm talking to myself. Ramona. Health kits. I don't think we need them um, anything at the moment. Ramona. Hold that. Let's just see if there's anything on the other side of it. No. Right, we'll go down that hole. There's another one of those there. Let's see if I can get down there without breaking my leg. Because we've got uh, devil crabs down here. And no way to get rid of them, so we just have to kind of. Avoid them. There's slime all over the walls. The quicker I can get out of here, the better. Mm. I just keep going. Brisk walk. Brisk walk. <coughs> oh shit. <coughs> Fortunately, I don't think they can climb. Uh, which is a bit inaccurate because crabs crabs can't climb. Oh, they did me nasty. Oh. Poison, uh, a cut, and a bandage. Poison crabs, huh? That's why my vision went all weekly, well, kind of blurred out around the edges. You see, we've got some bad guys around here. I suppose so, Brian Burnham. I suppose we need to distract these guys so we can get out. And we do this by the old, the old, good old-fashioned routine of making a racket and leading them away. I heard something. I heard something over there. Came from over there. That should have got him to move. Can you see anything? Are you down there, outsider? Can you see anything? This way, on grab on the list, jump on this ladder. Oh, that was well done. What? Shit, now I'm being shot at. Uh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> uh, this building's on fire! <laughs> oh, I know we gotta. We're gonna move this thing so it's because there's a 
a crate blocking something. Alright. Ah, crap, it's some shit! This fell through the floor, and that thing is on a timer. But I got... I don't know what... What am I dying from? Is it smoke? Hmm. Oh, it broke my leg! Okay. I really need more health supplies now. For a gun we don't have. Nothing here. Somebody's house. Oh, I think this is um Rachel's house. Um a the nice lady vase. who Nothing talked to us interest. earlier. Yep, there she is. Jack. Rebecca, not Rachel. Thank God. Just barely. The order has got half this blasted town on my heels. I warned you, Jack. I told you the order wouldn't stand to Save it, sweetheart. You found anything more on Brian? He never made it out of town. The order has him holed up in the old jailhouse until he's needed. Needed? Needed for what? Sacrifice, Jack. To Dagon. They'll take him out to Devil's Reef, and he'll never be seen again. Dagon? Sacrifice? This is crazy talk. Insmith's old fishing tales have muddled your mind. After all the things you've but seen? Are you questioning that? I don't want that? another death on my conscience. Where's this jailhouse? It's out the back of the merchant's bank, just past the old water tower. We better keep off the streets. The tainted are roaming everywhere. There's a secret crypt under the church that leads out to someplace safe. We can use that. My father built it when he was minister. Okay, get your father and let's go. I can't. I mean, he wouldn't pledge himself to Dagon. He, he called it blasphemy. The Order found him and... and... Jeez. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Did your father ever show you how to get into this crypt? No. But he gave me this. I think it'll help. Whoa! Found us. We have to leave now. The church is this way. Follow me. It won't budge. Right, we gotta cheese it. It won't budge. Come out! God help us. We'll have to make a run for it. Am I running in, running in the wrong direction? No, okay. Follow her, follow her. We'll be protected inside. Follow me, Jack. Oh, great. They killed her. <laughs> That's scripted. There's nothing you can do about no! that. Kill it. Church Refuge, February the 8th, 1992. Night. There's no going back now. The locals want me dead. That's clear enough. And they can't afford to let me get away now. Even in the sanctuary of the church, I don't feel safe. Though it looks like Rebecca was right. They're not making any effort to break in like they did at the hotel. I'm gonna miss her. Still, at last I have a lead on Brian Burnham. Rebecca was convinced he's alive and being held at... Held the town's jailhouse. Okay. And being held the town. I suppose that's grammatical. Uh, but where is the jailhouse? According to Rebecca's directions, I need to find the merchant's bank and then the water tower in order to reach it. That's easier said than done, though. These, those things have, have me pretty much trapped in here. Eventually, one of them might think of burning the place down, or they may overcome their fear of the place and come busting in. I need to find the secret way out. Rebecca said her old man's postcard would help, but I don't know how. I just hope I don't have to go back down through those sewers. There's something down there, for sure. I thought it was just another tall tale at first, but I could feel it. And that slime, it was like a trail from something, something not natural. What did that hit call it? A shoggoth? The order's grip on the folk of this town is strong and I'll stop at nothing. Rebecca's murder proves that. An old Zadok looks like they beat him to death for talking to me. I should have left the poor old rummy alone. So basically everybody that comes oh, into contact with Jack seems to die. Uh, 
We've had uh, Zadok, Ramona, and now Rebecca, and we ain't done yet. Uh, let's just get some wibbly wobbly going. Uh, okay. You're trapped. There's no place you can run. Wait a minute. There's no way out of there. The defacement of the church must have happened many months ago. That's what happened to Rebecca's dad, huh? It must be intended as a warning to the Christians of Innsmouth. The defacement of the church must have happened many months ago. If you're willing to come out now, we'll not gut the gal's carcass. Front. There's a raised section of tiling in the baptismal pool. You can't get away. Oh, you have an entire pool for baptism, huh? I don't know what denomination you are. I think Baptists, but open these doors, outsider! Uh, oh, we've got to ring the bells, right? Uh, postcard. On the back of the postcard there is a handwritten religious verse, it must be a coded message reads, I ring the bells unto thy glory, O Lord, from the lowest until the highest, and by the sacrament of baptism shall I enter into your secrets. Postcard must also serve some other purposes, pierced by four handmade holes, each signified with a number of arrows. The arrows seem to signify some sort of order. Okay, so we need to ring these bells in order of lowest note to highest note, and I'm rubbish at music, you trapped. There's no place you can run. Okay, so that one sounded like the lowest one. I should let the bell finish oh, okay. ringing first. Big ones. Give yourself up, outsider. There's no way out of there. No, that one right. I think the biggest one's the, the deepest. I should let the bell finish <laughs> ringing first. Up, outsider. The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. So. No, that's that one's clearly lower. Okay. If you're willing to come out. It did say lowest to highest, didn't it? Not highest to lowest. Maybe it means which one's higher up rather than the note it makes. So in you that case. Get away! No. It would be this one. I should let the bell finish ringing first. No. Okay, we'll go with no then. You're trapped. There's no place you can run. I should let the bell finish ringing first. I should let the bell finish ringing first. I should let the bell finish ringing first. No way out of there. Why is it? <laughs> I should let the bell finish ringing first. God, this is frustrating. Just give yourself up, outsider. The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. That was definitely lowest to highest, wasn't it? If you're willing to come out now, we'll not gut the gal's carcass. I don't think they actually get anywhere. I think they're just on a loop of audio dialogue. You can't get away! I can feel a strong draft of air coming from the drainage pipe. Grumble, grumble, grumble. <laughs> Such a simple puzzle. I don't know why I'm not Open having doors, I'm good sorry. time with it. You're trapped. There's no place you can run. Give yourself up, outsider. There's no way out of there. I didn't miss something. Okay, let's just check. Okay, we'll try the lowest down again. No, no, this one. Just give yourself up, outsider. The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. 
I should let the bell finish ringing Ugh. first. If you're willing I should to let come the out bell now. finish ringing first. I should let the bell it's finish not ringing. ringing first. <laughs> <laughs> Problem is, I don't even remember if you get a, a notification when it works. So uh, there's another bell hiding somewhere, is there? Open these doors, outsider! Oh, why I'm having trouble with this? The tile appears to be on runners. It won't budge. Grumble, grumble, grumble. <sighs> You're trapped. There's no place you can run. This is a save point, so if I get frustrated, I can quit. Give yourself up, outsider. There's no way out of there. I should let the bell finish ringing first. Give yourself up, outsider. The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. I should let the bell finish ringing first. If you're willing to come out now, we'll not gut the cow's carcass. You can't I'm not get getting away. anywhere here. I don't understand what the problem is. I rang the bells lowest to highest in note and lowest to highest in how high up they were. <laughs> oh, it worked. One of them worked. <laughs> Maybe I just did it too early or something. The game's finicky. Uh, you're not going to comment on this, Jack? There are markings there everywhere. It must have been down here that Rebecca's father figured out that mysterious sign. It's a Book. registry of births, deaths, and marriages in Innsmouth. A small stone plaque engraved with a series of numbers. And put the postcard on that. The postcard fits exactly over the plaque. I can see some of the numbers. It's a safe combination, I think. It Three, appears to be some sort of one, code. Five, seven. Eighteen forty-four. Seven births, six baptized, one died. Six deaths, five buried, one lost at sea. Marriage is five. Eighteen forty-five. Nine births, all baptized. Deaths, seven, five buried, two lost at sea. Marriage is three. Eighteen forty-six. Twelve all baptized. Twelve births, all baptized. Deaths, two hundred forty-three. Two hundred thirty-five in the disturbances in the epidemic. Two hundred forty burned, three lost at sea. Marriage is two. 147 births, probably seven, no baptisms. Three reported deaths, two burials, one coffin upon being accidentally dropped, broke home and was found to be contained rocks and logs. This was not buried. Marriages, non registered. Registered. Births, non registered. Probably ten, no baptisms. Deaths, five reported, one funeral that was not certain. Marriages, non registered. 1849. Births, non registered, thought to be eight, seven or eight, no baptisms. Deaths, non registered, four believed, no funerals. Marriages, non registered. Obviously, uh, once they took over, they took over. They all appear to be volumes on the history of Innsmouth. In the clippings, the year 1846 has been circled several times. Wow. It's the coffin of Tom Pickett, who died in 1837, aged 49. It's the coffin of D. Slocum, who died in 1852, aged 27. There is a small stone disc here, hollowed out with the carving of an upside down cross. So basically, we need to open the safe and get the cross out of it, I think. Three, three clockwise, one anti three, one, five, seven, starting clockwise. Three, one, five, seven, anti clockwise. Okay. All these see if books I can not are covered mess it up. in dust and cobwebs. They haven't been studied for some time. I must have got mm. something wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Okay. I'm not having a very good day with the... Puzzles are treating me badly today. Huh. Okay. That's not right. History okay, was we'll, never my strongest we'll try subject. it the other way around. Oh, God damn it! I'll start that over again. <laughs> I must have made a mistake. Three. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's it. The safe holds a stone cross. That was a bit odd. <laughs> All these articles relate to the deaths of Innsmouth citizens. Well, we plunk that in here. The disc is raised a little from the rock. There we go. I can't move it by hand. in the sewers. Great. <laughs> Just what we wanted. <laughs> Ramona? <laughs> Stop being creepy, child. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I heard the noise, but <laughs> it still surprised me. I think at this point where we need to pick up a dead rat at some point. Uh, actually, I'm going to end this episode here. This is a safe point. Hi, this is Fo. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and if you really liked it, please subscribe.